Hello everyone, I'm Kay here on my homestead in Tennessee. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be doing something with beets. Now I love to eat beets. I like them plain, cooked and plain, roasted. I love them pickled. So I want to be able to preserve beets and so today we're going to pickle beets. And we are going to use, I am going to use the beet tops but I already have a wonderful video for you that I'm going to put the link right up there and that's Southern Greens, Southern Braised Greens and it's so good. And so check out that link and watch how I would use these beet tops. So I'm going to clean up the beets. I'm going to, you're supposed to wash them in cold water. Of course I am going to use filtered water and then you can either roast them in the oven or you can boil them. And just until they're tender, you poke them, they're just tender, the skin just kind of pops. And then you let them cool, you peel them, you chop them, and then you make your brine. So let's get started. Okay, so these are organic red beets, as you can see. And I've got, I think I've got, let's see, one, two, three, yeah, six. I think there's six bunches here. And that usually means three. You want to just trim off this, trim off the root. So you've got about two inches here. And these are all pretty much, I tried to get them the kind of the same size. And so I'm just going to go ahead and separate. tops from the beets. Okay, the section between this and this and the root all went into the compost. These are I'm going to set aside for after we get our canner full. The beauty of this method is we can deep water can this. And this recipe is right out of the ball book of preserving. So this is really essential if you're doing any kind of food preserving, especially if you are new at it, a beginner. There's recipes and there's different ways of preserving, you know, as well. So this is the other pickled vegetables beet pickle recipe. And there are different ways to spice it up, and I'm going to talk about that. I have to say that if you have your filtered water coming through your tap or even countertop, it would be so much easier. <laughs> Just going to use a little of my Thieves, Young Living Thieves essential oil veggie wash. These peelings are coming off anyway. calls for 24 small. I have 18 medium to large. So, yeah, I can, I can sort that. Really?
So the recipe says to peel and chop the beets. So I just wanted to see if my little chopper would work well. Yeah. Good. And see that will be kind of uniform little squares. Of course you could slice them, but the recipe calls for chopped. It would take me a while to chop these, so I'm just going to slice and use the chopper. Let's make the brine. Jars are clean in the dishwasher. For the brine you have two cups of cane sugar, three and a half cups of vinegar, Three and a half cups of vinegar, one and a half cups of water, one and a half teaspoons of pickling salt, and you can either use three tablespoons of this mixed pickling spice, which is more savory, or you can do two cinnamon sticks and two tablespoons of whole allspice, which I don't have. Or you can use two tablespoons of black peppercorns and two tablespoons of caraway seed. And so those are three options. You could come up with your own option probably. This is just for the spicing. I'm gonna do my own mix. So you wanna use a spice bag. I'm just gonna break that. I'm gonna use one of those and I'm gonna use one tablespoon of black peppercorns, one tablespoon of the pickling spice, which has cardamom and coriander, both of which I love, and I'm going to do caraway. Because I think that would be a really great combo. And we're going to put our spice bag in. And I can see some of the little pieces are coming through. May want to strain that. Okay, it's coming to a boil now and we just want to turn it down to a simmer about 180 degrees for 15 minutes. Okay, you're going to leave a half an inch head space on your jars. 
Now I'm going to do a, an eighth of a teaspoon of pickle crisp granules. This is just to keep it crisp. Looks like it's going to take two cups. Oops. got to remove the bubbles. It's like you get them gone and then there more come back. Kind of. Kind of like grape juice. Doesn't want to stop. Now we're going to just use a little white vinegar to clean the rim. And I'm using my four jars lids. And if you would like to try them, go to fourjars.com and use my discount code of K10, K-A-Y-E-10. Finger tight. The pickle crisp is optional, by the way. got those six pints perfectly there's maybe a tablespoon left of the beets it's unreal got it done been a great day thank you so much for watching I hope you subscribe if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you again soon God bless